Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Big Craig. Whatever happened to Joey's Fool's victims? Do they ever make it in life? If you like to wrap down below, I really appreciate that. Let's get that child. It's child time. All of these toxic influences have been called out by the king of gym positivity, Joey Swole. And there are none more famous than Chelsea flop, Mikhailo Mudrik. Mudrik signed for Chelsea from a club in Ukraine for £80 million. And is See, I don't get how they can say he's misogynistic when he is going after major football stars. Major football stars and calling them out on their bullshit. Like, what's wrong with that? yet to make any impact with his footballing ability, but he has made headlines in a completely different way. He posted a video of him training in the gym to his Instagram story. The video included a question mark and a blurred box, which was blurring the top of an old man's pants that had started to fall down on the rowing machine. The video was obviously making fun of the old man for something he knew nothing about. It's safe to say this enraged Joey, who took to- I'm a, not a big fan of us making fun of our elders. I'm I'm really not. I'm a I'm a big proponent of elders. I, I think our elders c can share a lot of things with us and have a lot of knowledge. So us treating him so poorly, especially in the West, it makes me sad because in the East, we don't treat our elders this way. The TikTok to unleash fury on the Chelsea failure. So you see that man at the gym working hard, trying to better himself with a trainer. He's in an embarrassing situation where, yes, he's a little exposed and you decide, hey, let me take a video of it to post on social media to make fun of him all for attention. Pardon my language, but what the fuck is wrong with you? And you're a professional soccer player. You play for Chelsea in the Premier League. Is this how you want to represent yourself and your team? Let me tell you a story from about a month ago. I was at Gold's. I saw a woman in the same situation. She was on the lat pull down. She was a little exposed. So I walked up to her very discreetly. I said, excuse me, ma'am. And I told her she pulled her pants up and she thanked me. I'm not saying you have to do that, but you should at least. No, I'm saying you should do that. If you're, you're if um, an elderly person is exposed and they don't notice, give them a little hand. Let them know. Give them like let like don't be such an asshole to just ignore it. Like, at least give them like hey, you know you pull up your pants like you know you're you're, you're a little exposed. Mind your own business or tell his trainer. Let the trainer help him out. But what you don't do is take a video to post online for millions to see to make fun of this man. And the fact that you don't know better or want to set a better example as a professional athlete, really, you need to do better. Mind your own business. Commenters on Joey's TikTok started to flame Mudrick even more, with his own club's fans calling him out. We're catching L's when we're not even playing. Mudrick an actual flop on and off the pitch. After Joey called him out, there was no word from Mudrick or Chelsea even after a massive public backlash which is a completely different situation to the next influencer who actually thanked Joey for promoting her fans account. Victoria Adad is a 24 year old fans model originally from Brazil. Victoria has a website which promotes her fans and basically talks about how good of a person she is. She describes herself as a sweetheart with a big heart and always being eager to spread kindness in the world. But her actions online paint a completely different picture. Victoria posted a video of her in bright orange leggings in the changing rooms, bending over and showing off to the camera. She was upset with the fact that there were- This is not even the changing room. Is this the changing room? I thought it was like the restroom restroom at like a football stadium right this is not a changing room this is a, a restroom restroom the people in the changing room and captioned the video what were they thinking joey swole did not miss this video and was more than happy to tell her what he was thinking so you captioned this video what were they thinking well here's my question what were you thinking taking a video shaking your ass in the bathroom at a dolphins game just to intentionally get the reaction of others and all for what for some likes and attention on social media exactly really and I'll tell you what they're thinking. They're thinking, I would love to go to the restroom in peace without being recorded by anybody, then get back to my seat and watch some football. And that poor woman in the back that's just trying to do her job, look how visibly uncomfortable she is. It blows my mind what people will do and how they'll disrespect others just to get views on social media today. Commenters were quick to agree with Joey and they were all saying the same thing. With one viewer in particular commenting, main character syndrome has others thinking they can film in conventionally private spaces. Yep, that main character syndrome in all gyms, well, a lot of gyms. I don't know why people seem to think that like a lot of my videos are like 
like falsy. You look at the comments. There's men and women that don't like this. That don't like women causing such an issue with the filming and what they're wearing. Like, yes, I'm a man. I love looking at it. I love staring at it. I also would like some kind of decorum at the gym. However, this video actually caused some backlash for Joey, with some commenters claiming he was a hypocrite, including Victoria herself. She tweeted, You literally took the time out of your day to film a video in a public gym, talking about me filming in a public place. Victoria also posted this to her Instagram account, thanking Joey for calling her out and giving her free publicity on her only account, calling Joey a hypocrite and a weirdo at the same time. It yeah, Joey didn't film anybody. You look at behind him, there was just equipment. There were no people. And Joey goes to gyms that probably lets him film because he's such a big fucking influencer. I'm sure they're okay with him because they know he's going to film properly. He's not going to be filming others. In response to this idiotic Instagram story, Joey once again clapped back, reminding her that she was in a public restroom and people have the expectation of privacy. He also let her know that he trains in a private gym where he has permission to film. Since exactly. Joey responded, she has since removed the Instagram stories, but her comments on Joey's tweet remain, which is in stark contrast to the next influencer who actually deleted her entire account after receiving That's what she deserves. Backlash from Joey Swole. The TikTok a known as Emily Sierra, who was relatively unknown until Joey's video, posted this video on her account, which oh, started to turn one. some heads. She was filming an Edge gym in Connecticut and falsely accused a man of trying to train near her and being a creep. In the voiceover, she states that I was doing yoga and then this guy walked across the turf, threw medicine balls at the wall three times and then left. Gotta love men. You've got to question how she had the time to pull out her phone and record him if he was only there for a short time. Something which Joey picked up on two. So you are upset that this man is working out in the same area as you and you think he's trying to impress you, to hit on you, simply because he's doing an exercise, a common exercise, where he's not looking at you, he's not trying to talk to you, and he can't even see that you're taking a video of him. And I think it's funny that you say he only does three reps and then he leaves. But in that time, you were able to think about it, take your phone out and take a video of him where he's doing two of those reps. It doesn't make sense. Stop taking videos of people at the gym to post on social media to make fun of them. Gyms need to change their policy and start kicking people out for doing this. Joey, I and I'm glad that gyms have a lot of more public gyms like the 24 hour the la fitness type gyms are putting policies in that you cannot film anymore actually contacted the gym that emily recorded in and told them to revoke her membership but the outcome of that is unconfirmed however losing her membership will be the least of her worries with the backlash which followed people in the comments of joey's video were relentless in the roasting of her most people go to work out in peace and don't need to find themselves being trashed on social media by narcissists who think everyone is obsessed with them gross behavior gross individual comments also made their way to her personal TikTok account, which was so hateful and relentless, it led. That's one thing the, the 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 woke internet mob does. They are relentless and ruthless. <laughs> This is why you got to be careful what you do online. To the deletion of her account. Similar comments also made their way to the next creator's comment section. And she has much more of a platform than Emily. If you're a regular viewer of my channel or have seen my previous video about Joey Swole, this TikToker will be no stranger to you. Jessica Fernandez is known for her comments about a man who was looking to help her set up for a uh. hip thrust. Most notably, calling him Feral. This was what launched the a thousand ships of uh, massive content on gyms was because of this girl here. Like the reason why a lot of us have gym content of women fuckery is because of her. So uncomfortable. Feral, 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 like fucking feral. The five ads, five pounds. Excuse me? You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. Friendly guy. I help other men out at the gym when they're setting up weights. Like, why? Because I'm right there, too. So 
see what I mean? Alright, here we go. Jessica no, posted this mean? disgusting clip to her 600,000 followers who knew her as the pomegranate girl and it was quickly met with the fury of Joey Swole and his devoted fan base. There is a big difference between staring at somebody and simply looking or glancing at them. So why did this man look at you? Well, you're in front of him off to the side, you're in his peripheral. You're also taking a video with your camera pointed directly at him and you're talking to yourself. He's probably watching you wondering, what is she doing? I know I would. Also, you talk about, why would this man come over and help me load my plates? Well, if you watch the video, he sees that you struggle putting plates on the other side. Now, any experienced lifter out there knows when you have a barbell on the ground, if you're doing hip thrusts, if you're doing deadlifts, it's very difficult to put plates on. I learned this the first time I did deadlifts. I didn't realize how difficult it was while the bar was on the ground. And then a guy came over like, you kind of need to lift it up this way or put a, a weight under it. So it's a little bit of, like a, a jarred. And I was just like, ah, <laughs> this helped out so much. There's actually a jack they make for you to be able to lift up the barbell so you can put the plates on. He sees that you struggled being an experienced lifter and he comes over to try and help you because that's what kind people do. Any experienced lifter out there knows what I'm talking about. After this dressing down from Joey Swole, Jessica seemed to show genuine remorse. She has removed the TikTok from her channel and in the comments of her videos posted around the time of the controversy, she claimed she was taking time off social media. This was after she stated she'd become famous in a bad way and needed to reflect on the attitude she displayed. She posted a very lengthy twit longer in addition to these tweets. In it, she reveals that she's been the victim of SA, sincerely apologized to the man who did nothing wrong and basically says it was a very stupid thing to post. She's since changed her social media handles i mean if it's true that she's been assaulted in her sexually like that's that sucks i really does I, mean, I feel for her but it doesn't give her the right to just accuse men of doing such things in order not to be identified as easily and her growth on social media has grown to a standstill which is the exact same as the final influencer whose most viewed video is one with joey swole's fans roasting him nick monahan released what can only be described as one of the most and see again he roasts men he roasts women women happen to me to be on the top of the charts because there's a lot of fuckery with women but he roasts men too. And it doesn't matter what kind of clout. It doesn't matter if you're work you play for Chelsea. That's a big ass fucking Premier League team. You're gonna get fucked up by Joey. Because he's the man. Egotistical and pointless videos Joey has ever reacted to. Nick is a small YouTuber and TikToker from New Jersey who makes videos for his 1,000 followers. He posts about his nights out, the gym, and what he's wearing on different days. The video that really caught Joey's attention, however, was this one. In the video, he shames a younger boy deadlifting with his friends by walking over and showing off that he can shoulder press this weight. So I asked if I could hop in. I had to start pressing. If this video fills you with rage, you're not alone, as Joey Swole felt the exact same way. Just because you can lift more doesn't give you the right to treat people poorly. I hope this gym sees this and revokes your membership or makes you apologize to this young man. He's working hard. He's got his friends. They're pushing him. They're encouraging him. You saw an opportunity. To That's what I saw. I saw the man sitting in front of the kid like, you got it. You got it. And this man just comes in and just, you know, does it like, bro, really? You didn't even come in and give the man, the, the kid any pointers or anything. You just went to show off. What a fucking dick. To shame him, embarrass him for likes and attention on social media. This is toxic gym culture. This video backfired on Nick as it quickly became one of Joey's most viewed videos of all time with over 10 million views. This, in turn, sent Joey's legions out for blood. Nick deleted the video, but it was too late as Joey's fans flooded the comments section of his other videos with comments mocking his job role and his form in the gym. Nick's social media accounts are still active and he still posts, but his engagement on his posts has ground to a halt. <laughs> Damn good, chow. Shout out to Joey for uh, shutting these shitty people down. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And uh, catch you guys next time. Ciao.